right, it's a good thing I'm blessed showing So I guess I guess I'm sowing, sowing Yeah Ciao, buongiorno a tutti ragazzi, I hope you are all doing very, very well on this fine day where Inter have defeated Milan 2-0 to re not reclaim bragging rights, retain bragging rights of the city of Milan, which has been painted black and blue for a while. The purpose of this video is to trash the Italian media back, whether it's Gazzetta, CDS, whatever gobi di merda mouth that it's coming out from. Earlier during the week, the media tried to derail Inter's progress by saying that Lukaku and Brozovic had a bust up in the dressing room. Those exact two players went on to score the two goals today that defeated Milan. So it had the adverse effect that the media was going for. It actually worked in our advantage. The image that you're seeing now is Lukaku and Brozovic hugging each other. There is nothing but constant positivity coming out. And Conte warned us about this. He said only a couple of weeks ago after we won against Udinese, he told the reporter in the post-match interview to calm down. I know what you're doing. You are trying to falsely build up, build these expectations up and build us up so that you can crush us on the first fault, the first slip or the first sign of weakness. There is nothing weak about Antonio Conte and this side. Okay, so... I think that today was a perfect example of why the media really should just stick their nose out of our business. Whatever hand or whatever agenda the Ladri Scummy Zebra Dogs have against us this season, you're really going to have to challenge that energy and put it on the pitch. I'm not sitting here saying that we're on our way to a Scudetto because we're not. I truly don't believe we are. We're still a good maybe year, even two off. But it's starting to look pathetic on other teams and the media's behalf now the insecurities are starting to show more than ever this inter side is a lot better than what it has been in the last couple of years and it's going to continue to show that inter fans should not bite at any sort of media attention this season any sort of negative limelight by the media should just be shoved to the side and made fun of the fact of the matter is, is that we attempted or we did get rid of all the negative players in our squad. Nangolan, Perisic, and the biggest one of all, Mauro Icardi. There has not been a single glitch up until the story of Brozovic and Lukaku broke. And of course, it came moments after we dropped our first points of the season with a draw to Slavia. It's bullshit. It's a joke. It's false. It's fake news. So, don't stress. This morning was the perfect response. The two players who are caught supposedly punching on or having a disagreement with each other or being unhappy have scored the two goals in the Milan derby to win it only two days later. Come on, man. So, not an angry video by any means, just, um, just a realisation and just a word out to any Inter fans who are worried about instability in the dressing room. The only instability and the only inconsistency is the FIGC and Serie A taking a look and saying, oh, we may start to see a few changes soon. Better try and prevent that from happening. Or at least do your worst. Ciao ragazzi, forza Inter.